Things are getting nasty in the Republican race for president, and Donald Trump's rise in the polls is at the center of it all. Political analyst John Keller has been following the day's events, and John, is it fair to say that Trump has officially gotten under the skin of the other GOP candidates? Liam, under their skin and inside their heads, judging from the latest exchange of insults, sparked by Trump's contemptuous remarks about Vietnam era prisoner of war John McCain's service. Now, Trump's put down politics earned him a derisive response today. From from a close friend and colleague of McCain's, prompting a retort right out of the high school prank playbook. I don't care if he drops out. Stay in the race. Just stop being a jackass. For South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham, Trump's now infamous dismissal of McCain's wartime heroism was one insult too many. You don't have to run for president and be the world's biggest jackass. Your senator, what a stiff, what a stiff. Lindsey Graham. But for Trump, speaking today in Graham's home state, name-calling is just playing the game the way he likes it. But this guy, Lindsey Graham, so he calls me a jackass this morning. And I said to myself, you know, it's amazing. He doesn't seem like a very bright guy. Trump recounted a past meeting with Graham. And he gave me his number, and I found the card. It, I wrote the number down. I don't know if it's the right number. Let's try it. 202. It was Graham's real cell phone number. And by the time his rambling 40-minute speech was over, Trump had also ridiculed Jeb Bush, Rick Perry, Hillary Clinton, and President Obama. There's a silent majority out there. We're tired of being pushed around, kicked around, and acting and being led by stupid people. They're stupid people. How is all this playing at this Portsmouth, New Hampshire driving range? chipping away, it seems, at whatever support Trump may have had. I like some of his economic plans. I just think that his uh, foreign policy is where he kind of gets spanked and those comments and those outrageous comments, and it's not his first either. How does it make you feel about him as a presidential candidate? Oh, there's no way. I mean, there's no way he could be commander-in-chief. He's, he's, no, it's just, I, I don't know if he's serious. Well, judging from his address today, which was more of a Don Rickles or Andrew Dice Clay comedy routine than a political speech, Trump is serious about doling out scorn, and that certainly keeps the spotlight on him. But we're about to find out if the old saying is true, one Trump clearly lives by, that there's no such thing as bad publicity. Well, if there is any such thing as bad publicity, it would be in politics. Is there any sign that this is starting to catch up to Trump? Not yet, but it's still early. Uh, the only polling that's out there only covers the immediate the day mm -hmm. after this mm -hmm. story broke. Now that it's starting to sink in, give it a couple of days, and we'll find out if this guy is Teflon or if he's human. What's Lindsey Graham doing with his number? Is he going to keep that number? Uh, no, he's got to get a whole new phone. He tweeted earlier today, what should I get, iPhone or Android? <laughs> choices, choices. Thank you, John. Meantime, the